Mm. So, you know what? Tell me some weird law. Uh, <laughs> there's like a whole bunch of like totally different bizarre laws. Oh, right, give it to me. I'm ready. Um, mm. In North Carolina, mm -hmm. it's illegal to have a sleeping donkey in your bathtub after 7 p.m. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking American. Fucking American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, drink to that. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. According to British law, it's actually forbidden to be drunk in a public pub. But for real? For real. Shit. That's a new one. <laughs> so, uh, well, you want to break the law some more? Let's do it. childhood dream to be a dancer? Mom's dream, actually. She dragged me kicking and screaming into my first ballet class. <laughs> so uh, the only reason why I agreed to go was because she promised to take me to these football trials the week after. But when I got there, it was this instant feeling of, fuck. Yeah. How old were you? This is for me, you know. Um, I was six. I was this annoying little shit. I had all this energy, always all over the place, driving everyone crazy. But then with the ballet, I was able to channel that energy into these very precise movement dynamics. And I kind of became obsessed with the technical demands of it all. The feeling of being in absolute control of my body. There's a certain level of freedom that comes with that. And this, there's also a certain level of freedom that comes with this as well. <laughs> Rehab don't be bad. I'm being serious. Look, I've been on this grueling training schedule six days a week since I was, what, 11? To me, to do this, to be here with you on a Thursday night, to smoke as many fags as I like, that's like, that's like a boundless freedom. 